Floyd Mayweather, undefeated boxing champion, billionaire athlete. How does he do it? Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm very blessed because uh, Floyd Matter endorsed my YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see in the intro, uh, he actually said good things about me. Thank you, Floyd. And uh, I have always been a, a fan of Floyd Mayweather. He's always been an idol, a role model because of all the things that he said. The reason why he is where he is today is all because of mindset. So I want to play some of his speeches so that we understand better how he thinks um, and that might actually help you in your own development of a successful mindset. A little bit of background. Floyd Mayweather is a world champion in boxing. 50-0 is his record, 50 wins and undefeated. And uh, not only he's successful in the field of sports and athletics, he's also uh, very successful in business. So at the very beginning, he had a uh, promoter representing him, but he eventually he fired that guy and became his own promoter. And he's a great marketer. He speaks very well and he knows how to generate hype, right? So that people really, really wanted to watch his boxing matches. The last match that he had with uh, McGregor just before his retirement, that was a billion dollar match, all right? Uh, so his net worth today is somewhere between $500 million to a billion dollars. Nobody really knows, but uh, obviously very successful in sports athletics and also in the world of business. And let me let you in on a secret. Floyd Mayweather is trying to do it again. So, but not in uh, boxing, he's trying to double his money. He's trying to turn his billion dollar into $2 billion in uh, real estate. So knowing Floyd, I know he will be very successful in that. So without further ado, let's watch some of his speeches and let's understand how he thinks. And you always remember this. Jealousy. People jealous of you comes with success. So anytime you're successful, people don't be jealous of you. Yeah. When people when people not always gonna like you. Sometimes when you in class circus, some people don't like you when you're in school, right? But that don't stop you from going, right? And you still go there and be your best, right? So the same thing like my job. I still go there and do be be at my best. As long as you love me, can't, as long as you love me, can't nobody beat me. Okay, so that first part there, Floyd is talking about, uh, you know, he's not going to be a popular person. If he wants to achieve great success, he's going to achieve the impossible. He's not going to be Mr. Popular, right? People are going to hate him. People are going to doubt him. People are going to criticize him, right? Um, and that is the mindset you need to have. If you're gonna do something big in your life, people are gonna hate you. And that's okay. Because you're not doing it for them, you're doing it for yourself. You just need to stay on track. Whatever they say doesn't really matter because you know they're fucking losers, right? You're doing it for yourself. He is telling his own son that, you know, just because people make fun of, at you at school doesn't mean that he stopped going to school. He still has to do it and he still has to succeed at it, right? And it's the same with everything that we do in life. Let's continue on. Yep. Okay, I went a little bit too far, but anyways. Uh, so here Floyd said that he could retire, that he doesn't have to continue to do this, but he still gets up early in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. He still you know, pushes himself. It's not about the money anymore. So when you get to this level of success, it's never about the money, right? 
when you have a hundred million dollars, when you have a billion dollars in the bank, right? You can do anything you want with your life. You can go save the planet, you can save the whales, you can save the elephant, whatever. When you can do anything you want and Floyd continues to pursue his ambitions, he's not doing it for the money. He's doing it for his desire to win, right? To be a winner, to be at the top of his game, right? It's for a much greater purpose. Will you get there? Fight the best fight ever. I'll be there while you put in front of me. And I'm gonna continue to be there while you put in front of me. You got some fighters just say, maybe I'll win. Hopefully I'll win. I know my skills is good. I worked hard. I paid the price. As of right now, I'm a lot older, a lot wiser. I think I'm surrounded with the right team. I keep being victorious and keep being victorious. They say, you know what? This kid is cocky. God bless people in many different ways. And I think that if I was such a bad person, I would have took a loss, a crucial loss in the sport of boxing. All right, so did you see that? Did you see what he was saying to himself? So what we say to ourselves are very important. So what he says to himself during his own exercise is that nobody's better than me. Nobody's better than me. Uh, he's gonna defeat his opponent. It's the positive enforcement in his own head because thought becomes reality. Whatever he thinks will become true. In his mind, it becomes true. And when it's true in his mind, and when he goes out into the ring and fight the opponent, then he's gonna give all his best. So as some of you may know, I have mentors that have assets over $100 million. I have a number of them, and they all do this. No matter what field they're in, whether it's in business or something else, this is part of their routine. They do affirmations, meaning that they have certain things that they say to themselves repeat, repeatedly, right? Uh, sometimes they wake up in the morning, they will say something to themselves and then like, today is gonna be a fucking great day, I'm gonna make a million dollars or whatever, whatever it is, right? They have this routine of repeating those affirmations to themselves. Because the really successful people understand everything starts with the mindset. If they start with a failure mindset, if they start with, oh, this is not gonna work, oh, I'm gonna fail, and chances are they will fail, right? So all the successful people that I know, all of my mentors over hundred million dollars in assets that I know, Floyd Mayweather here, you know, they repeat affirmations to themselves regularly, repeatedly. They tell themselves that they're the best, that nobody can defeat them, that they're number one, that they're gonna make a million dollars, they'll make a hundred million dollars, right? They're gonna be the number one e-commerce uh, business in Southeast Asia, whatever it is. They repeat that to themselves and their subconscious mind believes it and then uh, you know they make that happen. Thought becomes reality. So important. Floyd though is uninterested in convention. He works out up to four times daily. The only thing routine about his regimen is its unpredictability. I train every day. Every, I train every day. Hard. I train at aqua times. It already been the hot field. I never get tired. Never get tired. Other fighters got up. They got a regimen. They got a schedule. And that's not me. I stay up late. I run with Timberlands on, jeans on. I um, mean, t-shirt, whatever I got on, I run. I feel like running, I'm gonna go out and run. It's 1 a.m. I'm going for my third workout. Do I wanna go to the gym? I absolutely not. I'd rather, really, you know, lay in my house and sit in the movie theater and watch movies. But, you know, to be the best, you got to work overtime. To be the best, you got to work overtime. Let's go in here and get this workout in. Lights out, party's over. Well, people stay up. All right, so you heard that, right? So this is from Floyd Mayweather. He, uh, works out at night, you know, 1 a.m. in the morning, he's still going to the gym, he's still working out. He said that, does he, does he wanna go to work out? No, of course not. Everybody wants to stay at home, chill, and watch a movie, but he knows that he must follow his routine, right? He must 
follow his regimen. In order to be a, a fighter in his top shape, he has to work out. And that means, you know, get up uh, 1 a.m. in the morning, go to the gym, and do whatever is necessary, even if it's painful, right? Uh, he never deviates away from his routine. And let me ask you, how many of you would do this? How many of you would be like, yeah, I have to get up in the morning and run, uh, you know, for 30 minutes and, I, and do it every day? How many of you would actually follow through? Most of you would give up before, you know, you even try or try a few times and give up. But to be a true champion, right, you don't give up. You follow your routine every single day. And it's discipline. You need discipline to be a champion. So let's see what other things Floyd Mayweather has to say. Times a week, he pulls his own night shift. When I'm out there training, when I'm training in the gym, at first I thought it was all for the money. Like, yeah, I'm doing this for the money. But then it's obvious it's not for the money because I, I got enough money. So it's, it's obvious it, it must be for the love of the sport. Press it, press it, yeah. So he said, uh, you know, he's got enough money. Why is he training so hard? Why is he pushing himself, right? So it's not for the money. He's already got a lot of it. He's a billionaire, right? So it must be the love of the sport. And when you get to a certain level in your life, when you have achieved a certain level of success, it's no longer about the money. It's about fulfillment. It's about your personal fulfillment. Or maybe it's about a greater ambition. Maybe you want to change the world. Maybe you want to make people's lives better, whatever it is. And I would say very, very few people would um, be able to say that. Only the truly successful, right? And then uh, I, I can truly say that I don't need to work another day. I have enough money. I can live very well for the rest of my life. I can live three lifetimes um, very well without working another day. I choose to give myself this enormous challenge of you know, doing e-commerce uh, business in Vietnam and uh, hopefully eventually in Southeast Asia with you fucking fucktards, you know. Um, the reason I do it is because, you know, out of my heart, you know, I want to, I don't have a heart. Out of my heart, I, which that does not exist, uh, I want to make a, a, a difference to the world, right? I want to leave a legacy. I want to, um, do something significant, you know, put a dent in the universe, right? That is my goal. It's no longer about money. You know, I'm throwing away money as we speak, running my e-commerce business, because I believe it's gonna make people's lives better. Let's continue on. I'm not on a schedule. My job is boxing. Yes, forever. I bust my, I work my heart out to be my own boss to make my own moves. I did. Back to the sacred. It's Haven. It's June. Every time I go into a boxing gym, a switch click on. Instant. Switch click right on, I'll be ready. Be ready to fight. Oh, I think this point is very, very important, right? So what Floyd said here is that whenever he goes into a gym, he's ready to fight. Like he, he just immediately switched into that state, right? And this is what I say most people don't have, right? Uh, most people, they are a slave to their biology, a slave to their mindset. Oh, I'm too tired, I cannot move. Oh, I need to take the day off. Oh, I can't do this. They cannot get into the state, right? So Floyd, when he goes into a gym, he's ready to fight no matter what. Like he just, boom, wake up. His mind is ready, his body's ready, he's ready to fight. In order to be a champion like Floyd, you know, whatever you do, whatever, whether you're an artist, whether you're in business, whether you're in sports, whatever, when you engage in something, when you get into the office, nine o'clock in the morning, you're ready to do business, right? Like, you don't, oh, it feels like shit today. Uh, you know, you don't do that. Like, you, you need to be able to switch right into the state immediately. Right, and this is something that uh, that's fairly, fairly important. Um, yeah, let's continue on. It's about that time. 
time, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time. I wake up at 2.30, gotta be to the gym at three o'clock. I get to the box gym at three o'clock. I train from three to 5.30, 6 o'clock. Go eat, go to the fitness club, go run. And I may go back to the gym later on that night. Who that, who that? I'm gonna always work hard. But as you get older, you have to work smart. Uh, Floyd said, uh, I always work hard, but as he gets older, he has to work smarter. I think that's very, very true. Uh, the young people that get into uh, their careers, you know, people in their 20s or maybe even early 30s, they still don't have enough experience yet, right? So when you don't have enough experience, you have to make up for it with hard work. Lots and lots of hard work, right? But as you gain experience, now you have to use your smarts. Uh, it's not, no longer about just putting in the raw effort. It's also about using your experience uh, to do things faster, better, quicker, smarter, right? Floyd is a very smart fighter. So if you understand how he fights in the ring, you know, it's all mental. It's not so much the physical. He defeats his opponents, all 50 of them, by being smarter. He's, he's like a computer. He learns the opponent's moves, the patterns. And then, like playing a chess game, he knows how to defeat them, each one of them. Uh, this is something that may not be pu publicly discussed, but that's how he thinks. I strive to be a perfectionist every day. I work hard at it. No one is perfect. But one thing I can say, I always find a way to win. I yeah. always find a way to win. Because I was born a winner, I'm gonna die a winner. Always find a way to win, born to win, die to win, right? Again, it's all mindset, it's all in the brain. He believes it. He believes he's always gonna win. That's why he's always gonna win. That's why he's never been defeated. He never lost. Because he's always gonna win. He believes that with 100% of his heart and mind and soul. Going into a fight, I always have tunnel vision. Anything can happen in a fight. That's why you gotta prepare all around the board. You gotta prepare yourself all around the board. As the fight gets closer, I still work hard. I don't wanna never have that on my mind that I didn't give my craft 100%. Oh, this is so important. Uh, so a couple, couple points there. So he said, when he goes into a fight, it's tunnel vision, right? He doesn't think about anything except the opponent. He's always focused on the opponent. He didn't say it here, but, but I know, right? He doesn't let the emotion get in the way, right? Uh, other fighters will probably get emotional. They're probably thinking about family, parents, uh, uh, stuff outside the ring. But when he gets into the ring, he's 100% on the opponent. That's it. Tunnel vision, focused. And that focus is very important for him to win every fight. And later on he said, uh, you know, he doesn't want to fail because of lack of preparation. Yeah, that is really the worst way to fail. That is really the worst way to fail anything. Uh, by not working hard enough, by not being prepared, right? You know what you have to do. If you're in marketing, you have to launch a website, you know what you have to do. And the reason you can't do it is because you're not prepared. You didn't put in the hard work. Right? And those are really bad reasons to fail. If you just put in the time, effort, energy, and be prepared, you would succeed. So Floyd, like everybody else that's successful is saying, the worst way to fail is not by working hard enough. The worst way to fail is not being prepared. I'm not perfect, but every day I try to become the best fighter that I can become. I'm still undefeated, still going strong, and still have something to prove. Go out there and just continue to beat who they put in front of me, 
and go down as an all-time great. I'm blessed just to be, like I said before, just to be in, in this situation. Um, I gotta tell you what money may can do to me. I don't fold under pressure. Great athletes perform better under pressure. So put pressure on me, I need a job. Okay, a couple things there, right? Last thing that he said, you know, great athletes perform better under pressure, right? It, it's so important. Like, uh, if you want to do something important, and we talk about this in this channel too, if you want to do something great and important, you're going to have a lot of pressure. Like, there's going to be a lot of pressure placed on you, right? And if you can't work under pressure, yeah, just go work at Highland Coffee. Just go work at, you know, Chung Wing Coffee. Just be a, you know, a, a school teacher, right? Don't try to do anything important because if you want to do something important, you need to learn how to deal with pressure and you need to be able to perform better under pressure. Under any circumstances, it really doesn't matter. It's my job. There's no pressure on me. I know what I got to go out there and do. I know, I know what it takes. I'm not even worried. Pressure either, either makes you or break you. Well, you see where I'm at, so it's obvious that I'm the type of athlete or t I'm the type of entertainer that can deal with pressure. There's never no pressure. So there you go. Um, undefeated world champion in boxing. And I believe the first billionaire athlete in the world. You know, undefeated. 50 wins, zero lost. And after his career in, you know, boxing, now he's moving into real estate and he's gonna double his money. He's gonna double his money from 1 billion to 2 billion doing real estate. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind he's gonna do it because he's got all the right mindset and he's truly smart. He's the smartest fighter out there. And, uh, you know, as a fighter, as a promoter, I mean, he works super, 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 super hard, and he's got the brains. These are all the reasons why he is the success that he is today, and the future as well. Take fucking action, and don't be a fucktard.